Welcome to the Spectre Creative channel, and if you're visiting this channel, you know that it's all about science. Okay, well, no, this channel is actually all about toys, but sometimes we talk about science because science pertains to toys. And I'm not a scientist, but I do like John Cleese, so I'm going to show you a picture of John Cleese dressing like a scientist to give credence to this video. All right, so we are talking about sticky things. And there are some things with toy collecting that is good when it's sticky, like sticky tack. There are things that are not good when it comes to sticky, like getting gum on the bottom of your shoe, unless, you know, you're Violet Beauregard and that's your thing. And when it comes to toys, there are, of course, toys that are supposed to be sticky, like those little hand flippy things that my daughter loves to get from vending machines, and they get all dirty and dusty, and then you gotta get another one, but they're only a quarter. And then there's bad things that are sticky, like that bin of action figures you have that after sitting in the dark for decades, you pull out, grab a figure, and suddenly you realize your hand is covered in a thin layer of goo, which seems to be coming from the actual figures. And this is true. Old figures get a weird, sticky sensation all over them. Not die-cast toys. Not things like Hot Wheels, but action figures. And this is very prevalent on old He-Man toys, old Star Wars toys, more or less anything that's, well, you know, 30 to 40 years old. So if you played with it in the 70s and 80s, it's going to happen. So why does this happen? Well, let's jump in, because that's what the channel is all about. Toys and explaining things. Dun, dun, dun. So the first thing to cover is that toys, for the most part, are made from plastic. Obviously, this is something that doesn't last forever. Plastic does degrade. Whether you're talking about a toy or a water bottle sitting in a junkyard, eventually plastic is going to start to come apart. And while it would be great if they lasted forever, it's not really the case. Hey. Even the Mona Lisa's falling apart. So, can anything be done about the degradation of toys when it comes to the stickiness that gets on them over time? Well, in order to understand that, we have to do a little science. So, let's jump in and talk about why toys get sticky. Alright, so as I noted, plastic is degradable over time. It does not last forever. Things like sunlight, things like water, things like moisture can help age it. And some polymers become sticky as a result of the aging and degradation process. So aging is caused specifically when the polymers, which are part of plastic, degrade, which can make the polymer softer and sticky or harder and more brittle, depending on the mechanism of degradation. So the phenomenon that causes polymers to become sticky could be physical, and this is caused by a diffusion or a migration of the oily additives, which are part of the plastic. These are commonly called plasticizers. And while that, on the surface, might sound like something that Cobra created in order to eliminate G.I. Joe, it's part of the, well, what holds plastic together. There's two types of plasticizers, internal and external. And it's really not necessary in this video to go into that, but it's the degradation of the plasticizers that are causing diffusion. All right, so what is diffusion? Diffusion isn't limited to plastic. It's essentially when two chemicals or two components come together that over time, those chemicals begin to intermix and they're no longer separated. It's kind of like oil and vinegar, right? When you pour them together, at first they're separated and then Diffusion causes the two different chemicals or two different substances to intermix. And when this happens, the oily additives, which that's what a plasticizer is, rises to the surface of the toy product or the plastic. So this can basically be a physical reaction or it can be a chemical reaction directly related to the degradation and aging of the process. So the diffusion of oil is what's causing the figure to be sticky. Essentially, as the plastic breaks down, the oil that was intermixed in the plastic is now rising to the surface. All right, so how do we solve this? How do you get your toys to stop being sticky? Enough about the science behind it. Well, there's a few things you can do. One, you can wash them with soap and water. 
It's not a cure-all, and it won't permanently fix the situation, but applying good old soap and hot water can remove the top layer of the degraded plasticizer from the surface of your figures, which basically removes the oil, oily additives. They will come back in time, though, but if you want to play with them or display them for the moment, a good way to make them fun for the touch is to use oil and water. Another thing you can do is you can scrape off the surface, and this isn't really something I recommend because you're probably going to damage the toy doing this, but if it's something like a toy ball or something that's not a figure where you really care about the deco, you can just remove the outer layer of plastic by scraping it off, and that's going to do a more permanent job of removing the oily substance that's now covering the top layer because you've removed it. And then the third method, which is something that I recommend, is by coating it. So essentially, you can lock in the oily additives, lock in the degraded plasticizer by spraying your toy with any number of things or painting over it. If you're a customizer and you're good with painting, you can cover your figure with a thin layer of paint. As I'm not a customizer, I prefer to spray my plastic. And there's multiple different sprays you can use, and it completely depends on the toy. There's not one type. Things like uh, Ultra Covers, which you can use to, well, they're sold to remove rust, but they work very well. You can also use things that are meant to seal in acrylics or ceramics, as well as products that are meant to uh, seal in coatings of, well, paint coating, uh, paint primers that are meant to help seal paint and keep the color. Those will also work in order to coat plastic. I happen to like leak protectors because you can get silicon leak protectors that are clear and spraying these over a figure doesn't change the paint color at all because you're spraying a clear coat over the figure. So that's what I tend to use the most. It doesn't work with every figure, but I've had a lot of success over the years using different sealers, clear versions of them, to coat my figures. In a way, you can kind of think of like this, think of like this, think of this, like your action figures are taking a shower, except that the shower is permanent and it's sealing the figure from further degradation, and it will no longer degrade and will now be ready to display again, fresh and clean and willing to be handled, because you won't get your hands sticky anymore. Of course, you could just leave the figures on the shelf and never touch them. That's always a solution as well. But, you know, what can I say? As collectors, we all hate goo. All right. uh, why are my drippings with goo? It's whether it's peeling off price tags or touching old figures, it's not a sensation we like. So I hope this video helped explain why it happens and what you can do about it. Let me know how your uh, experiments go. I hope they go better than uh, some of mine have. I've definitely messed up some figures doing this, but it does work most of the time. Let me know any comments below. Share this video if you can, because it tells YouTube to share it with more people. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.